The if statement is one of the most used formulas in Excel. In this tutorial, we're going to look at multiple examples from an easy if to an if with conditions like and and or to multiple ifs and we're even going to see how to return icons as a result. So let's start. Here I have some agents and sales and what I want to do as a first example is for every person who has sales above 50 I want to return A. So I'm going to type equal if, open parenthesis, you have a logical test. So here I'm going to say, this is my sale. So I select the cell, bigger than 50, comma. If the value is true, I can return a number, like 4, for example. But here I need to return a text. So I have to put the text in double quotation marks. And then comma, if the value is false, I want to return nothing. Nothing in Excel means double quotation, double quotation. Then you close the parenthesis, you press enter, and you get A. You could also, instead of typing this and hard coding them, you can refer to cells because I might change the threshold in the second month or so. So what I'm going to do is instead of this 50, I'm going to select this cell, and instead of the A, I'm going to select this cell. Because you're selecting cells, you don't need double quotation. So we press enter, we get the same result. To drag it down, I need to fix this 50 and this A because I don't want them to change while I'm dragging down the formula. So to do this, I'll just click on the first one, press F4, and then click on D3 and press F4, enter. Now I can safely drag my formula. I didn't put F4 on B5 because I want when I drag the formula to change to B6, B7 and so on. So this is the result. The second example is about doing the same, but I want the people that have between 50 and 70 to get an A. So now you have the AND condition, which means we need to use the AND formula within IF. So I'm going to do equal IF, open parenthesis. Here I have the logical test. So we have to put the AND at the beginning. So we say AND, open parenthesis, close parenthesis. Within this, I can put all my conditions. You can see here logical 1, 2, 3, and so on. So logical 1 is I want my sales to be bigger then 50 and I'm going to use F4 directly here comma I also want my sales to be smaller than 70 let's use F4 so those are my two conditions comma if it's true give me the A F4 comma if it's false double quotation double quotation close parenthesis enter so as you can see, this person has 98, which is above 70, so I don't get anything. And when I drag it, I only have one person who got something between 50 and 70. The next example is about using an if within an if. So the rule of thumb for this is very simple. Anytime you will say but in English in your sentence, it means you'll have multiple ifs. For example, Let's assume that you want to know if the person is underage. So you can say, I want to check the height of the person. Every person who's over 180 is not underage, but if the person is under 180 centimeters, I'm going to check his driving license. And then if he has a driving license, he's not underage, otherwise he's underage. And this is where you'll have an if within an if. Let's look at this example. So this example is the same as this. The only difference is that if the person sales are not within 50 to 70, then I'm going to check if they are above or equal to 70 and give an A plus, otherwise nothing. We could, instead of typing the same thing again, we could go here, select the formula, control C, escape, go here, go to the formula bar, control V, enter. 
So I copied the same formula because the first part is the same, but if the person score or sales is not between 50 or 70, I have to change here. So I'm writing another if here. If the score is above or equal to 70, F4, then we're going to give it an A+, plus, so we can select this cell, and then, if not, we want nothing. Since you have another if, you need to close the parentheses here, and you need to press enter. So here you get your A+, plus. if you drag it, you're going to see that you get another A+, plus here. The only problem in this formula is that we are still referring to those two cells. So I can just click on them, drag, click on this one and drag, just to make it more neat. And we can drag it, we're going to get the same result. Notice something here. The way the if formula works, it will go execute this first. If this is true, it will return this value and it will not look at the other part of the formula. So you need to be careful when you're writing the formula that you don't have a condition that is part of another condition because you won't have the result. Make sure that the conditions are mutually exclusive. Let's go into the next example. Here I have an OR case. So I want everything below or equal to 50 or more or equal than 70 and I want to write outliers. So let's write equal if open parenthesis here instead of AND, like we did before, we're going to write OR, open, close parenthesis, click inside. My first test is 98, smaller or equal than 50, this is my 50, F4, comma. My second logical test is this 98, bigger or equal than my 70, then we do F4. So those are my conditions. We go after the parenthesis, comma, value if true, we get outliers, F4. If it's false, double quotation, double quotation, close parenthesis, enter. So here we get outlier, obviously, for all the A+. And you can see that nearly everybody is not between 50 and 70. So this is why you get that many outliers. The next thing we want to do is we want to write flag for everybody who has a variance to budget that is above 10%. So a variance to budget, we can do equal 98 over 50 minus one. So this is for example, 96%. We can go here and use the percentage. It doesn't matter, it's just to show you. So this person must get a flag. So I'm going to write, if this is now our test, bigger than 0 0.1, which is 10%, if the value is true, we will do flag, otherwise nothing. So here I can do the same principles I used before. So I can use the 10% from here, do F4, and then I can do F4 for this, enter, we're going to flag the ones that are above this 10% threshold. If it's below, obviously nothing happens. This is why you have 16 versus 50. It's more than minus 10%, but we're only looking at the positive cases. If I want to do the same thing, but I want to put an icon, for example, this icon, I will show you the formula, but to get this icon, you can go to insert symbols, symbol, and then you can select a symbol, double click on it, get it in a cell, and then you can refer to the cell, or you can just take it, control C escape, and you put it in the formula. So I'm gonna do the cell technique right now. I'm just gonna copy this, control C escape, and then I'll go here in the formula bar, control V. So what I'm gonna do is just take this 10% to here, and instead of having this as a flag, I'm going to use this one and then I'll press enter. And as you can see, you get this icon. 
So this is an overview of some of the cases of the if formulas. If you have a lot of ifs within ifs, it will become very complex. So you might use other techniques like ifs and so on that I'm going to show in other lessons. So please let me know whether you find the if formula difficult, if you are a beginner, and also, as usual, to help me make more videos like this, I would love it if you could just press on the like button and subscribe to the channel.